Are you tired of your 9 to 5 job? You honestly feel like there's no sense of purpose, like there's no purpose in life. You honestly tried everything. You tried drinking coffee, you tried going out on a run in the morning, in the evening, you probably also tried yoga. Then, here's a good news for you. Miracle Mentality, every morning, a devotion just made for you with Pastor Jolly John so that you can have some sense of purpose in life. Just like me. Praise the Lord. And in another day, God has given to us with all the blessings in our lives. Luke chapter 7 verse 47, we read like this. I tell you, her sins, and they are many, have been forgiven. So, she has shown me much love. Hallelujah. I want to read it one more time. I tell you, her sins, and there they are many, have been forgiven. So, she has shown me much love. Jesus was at the Pharisee's house for a dinner, for a supper. Then we know that Mary Magdalene came there and took a jar of alabaster and pouring it on Jesus' feet and wiping his feet. And by looking at people were murmuring, they were criticizing, how can an immoral woman, how can a sinful woman can touch Jesus? How can he allow? But Jesus knew that she made her life a mess. The sins were many, but now she's forgiven and she came to anoint Jesus' feet with the expensive perfume. That's what God does. When your life is mess, when my life was mess, in a mess, He forgiven us. He restored our life back. Many times you may be thinking that God is never helped me. He is mad at me because my life is a mess. He will judge me for all the things what I have done. But He took your past and threw it away. And He has forgiven your history and He is seeing your heart and he, that, that's what He has made you a new creation today. He has made you as righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. He has made you as more than a conqueror, overcomer, a priest, a royal priesthood, king, a holy nation, altogether a different person you are now. So come to Him more closely and know that he looks into your heart not into your history now he looks into your heart and my question is today is your heart completely turned to him as he loves you are you loving him when you begin to love him when your heart is turned to him you will experience the favor the restoration the mercy, the kindness, everything which already is provided in your life. You will realize that. When you turn your hearts to God, you will understand that what Jesus has done on the cross for you. Then you will know that the mercy which, has, which is flowing in your life, the favor which is flowing in your life, the kindness, the grace which you are receiving is beyond your imagination. Then you will come to a conclusion that God is not mad at me. He never remember my history, but He looks into my future and He wants to bless my future with a greater blessing. If you have the, this, this belief, then you will experience the blessings extremely abundantly above all blessing, which is beyond your imagination, which is beyond your dream. Hallelujah. That is Jesus. He loves you so much. So turn your heart today towards Jesus. He loves you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. You are a good, good Father. Lord, we know that when we, our lives were in mess, Lord, you lifted us, you have forgiven us. Lord, if anybody out is listening to me today, thinking that their life is in a mess, they don't know what to do. 
They are thinking that you cannot forgive them. Lord, help them to turn their hearts towards you so that they will receive the forgiveness and experience your favor, your love, your mercy and kindness in their lives, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, hallelujah. You are highly favored and God never remind you of your history. So have a blessing.